Uruwagona started the implementation of the ENOUGH project in April 2020 which is a campaign to fight against sexual and gender-based violence in three districts of the Upper West Region of Ghana, namely Wa East, Wa West and Wa Municipal. The objectives included campaign against forced and early marriage, abuse of sexual health rights of girls through rape and defilement and powerful people able to subvert the course of justice by allowing for amicable settlements of rape and defilement cases. The three-year project, which will be ending in December 2022, has harvested some outcomes which can be viewed in the following videos. Used to be, the range at which the SGBV issues occurred in Manway here was about 60 to 80 percent because they were not educated on such issues and victims were mostly intimidated to approach authorities to report. Now, with the intervention of our community sensitization in the chief palaces, mosques and schools, based on the training we had from Lugugana, we don't hear of such issues. Sir, <laughs> The SGBV was going on in this community until the intervention of rural wildlife training. Before then, I had no idea that it was a crime to beat your wife or to rape or defile a woman. We had an issue of a man beating his wife after I returned from the training, and with the training I had, I pursued the matter and saw that it was settled through an alternative dispute resolution within the community, where he was made to understand the laws of our country in relation to domestic violence. before we were trained by Rugana, my community used to deal with issues of rape and early marriage with the chief, opinion leaders, and other elders in the community. We had community volunteers who were ready to arrest perpetrators and hand them over to the chief and depending on the level of crimes, for example, defilement perpetrators were charged to bring two goats and two hands and rape perpetrators were punished to farm for the chief for one week. 
After we return from the training, the chief organized opinion leaders, elders and community members in the community for us to share with them the knowledge we acquired from the training. So now, I can say that there is a change in this community as community members are adhering to legal method of handling SGDV issues for what we shared with them from our training. One elder, Mr. Yakubu Sombo, even called and confirmed to me that there is change in this community after our engagement with the community. Ayala <laughs> Rural Ghana has also empowered women economically through the village savings and loans initiative to become financially stable to resist forced and early marriage. After our last village savings and loans associations harvesting, I was able to buy seven bags of cement out of my share from the VSLA box to build a house up to the window level. In our community, our main business is farming, so we use the money that we borrow from the VSLA to do our farming businesses while making profits to support ourselves and family and to continue with the VSLA. Okay, those two as an institution on its own um, used to do a lot of sanitization in order to curb this domestic uh, violence cases. But until the, uh, we were not recording much of these cases until the uh, Rural Ghana Intervention program came in, which we did a lot of radio discussions to inform, get the community well informed on uh, the effects of this violence and for the reasons why they should even report these violence cases to us. So I think uh, the involvement of uh, uh, Rural Ghana has really made an impact in the sense that it has made a lot of people who were not well informed of certain cases that were uh, offenses to now know and because of that they come to report the cases. Okay, so this has uh, increased the number of reported cases by 40 to 50 percent and that has been a plus to rural Ghana. This surely means that the number of cases we used to report has increased dramatically and that has mean the prioritization program is well doing and it should be encouraged. Rural Ghana has played a vital role in the societies in Wa in creating I mean, creating awareness of these social violence cases. <laughs>